Last week I was watching a new out of spec video where Kyle Connor, his wife, and his dog got in the Rivian and did a road trip. The thumbnail for the video showed the Watts Road uh, Flying J, which has a really distinctive canopy, so I was kind of interested to see the uh, video. Plus, I just love the out of spec studio productions. And I'm also very fond of EV road trips, so all those things really had uh, me captivated with this video. And I watched the whole thing through from start to finish. When they got to Watts Road, uh, Kyle mentioned, kind of in passing, that he had heard through an EVgo employee that the Pilot Flying J project was dead and over. And I just kind of thought, oh, yeah, he must have heard something, I don't know. And I continued watching the video and enjoying it and uh, went about my business. What happened after that, though, was a little bit um, troublesome. Uh, there was a lot of people who started to ping me on multiple different fronts. I was getting posts or check-ins on PlugShare referring to me and referring to the video and how those stations need to be taken off because the project is dead. I had people hitting me with email. I had people hitting me with LinkedIn messaging. Um, I had multiple comments on the um, YouTube channel that I operate as well, this YouTube channel. And um, I was just kind of deflecting because, you know, Kyle Connor is a real titan in the EV adoption uh, space. It's arguable that no man besides Elon Musk himself has done more for electric vehicle adoption than Kyle Connor. I respect the man tremendously, and I also love his content. He like, makes terrific um, EV content that I enjoy consume, consuming. And um, so I was just kind of going about my business, but it kind of kept coming. And so I'm making this video. I, I put a, a comment in the video, and some people liked it, some people didn't, but that didn't really seem to stop this situation. So I decided to make this video just to put my thoughts out there for anyone who's curious about the Pilot Flying J project. What Kyle said is that he knows of no more stations. And this is really just a 30 second snippet of a 90 minute video that is really good content. If you like EV road trips, go check out the video and I'll link it down below in the description. It's really good, you know, Rivian going cross country into the Blue Ridge Mountains in order to have a vacation with his wife and dog. I mean, it's really enjoyable. Um, he said he knew of no more pilot Flying J stations, and he was said that specifically from the Flying J on Watts Road in Knoxville, Tennessee. I'm a little bit unclear if he was saying there was no more since the one in Knoxville, Tennessee, or just generally in recent memory there hasn't been any new ones. Regardless, um, that being unclear, I'll point out what's going on here in just a second. I personally think that it's likely accurate that he does not know of any stations because if you go on PlugShare and try to search these stations, there's no way of doing so because they're lumped into the greater EVgo um, counts. So you can't easily pick out the Pilot Flying J, so they kind of get lost in the noise. And I can definitely appreciate that. Um, you have to know to use their mobile app. Also, he said that the project is over, and I think he specifically said the project is dead and he was citing an anonymous EVgo employee or employees, which he said were friends. So I'm not sure you know, who those people were. I don't have any EVgo um, employee friends that I could refer to, and I'll get to um, EVgo and Pilot Flying J, uh, people who have spoken publicly about the project in just a second. However, I'm speculating that the view that was conveyed was probably around the time of the Berkshire Hathaway transition the first part of this year because the graph shows there was definitely a lull in activity right around that time. There was nothing going on and perhaps, and this is pure speculation on my part, the EVgo employee was talking to Kyle around that time and said, hey man, this project is dead. They're not doing anything and Kyle picked that up. I, I don't know if that's the case, but that seems to make sense if that were. But let's talk about the project as it stands. This is the graph, and right here is when the Watts Road location opened. And you can see since then, dozens and dozens and dozens of stations. And even if we were talking about just in recent memory, let's say the past three months, there's been dozens of stations that opened up in the past three months. And these are just stations that are open, not to mention the 55 locations that are known to be under construction. 
27 of which or 28 of which are canopy locations. So there's tons of um, activity. They're still building canopies. They're still putting the General Motors name on it. And um, the project is proceeding. Still, let's just say the cited source was accurate inside EVgo and the project is ceasing. There's Nevi Awards. And all, right here, this column that says open means that, uh, or under construction, means that those are built. Anything that is not open or under construction is still waiting to be built. So if even if they didn't do anything else, kind of like Love's, they would have to finish the Nevi build. And I just learned, I was away on um, vacation this week, and I just learned that Iowa announced Nevi. So there's three additional locations that are Nevi builds to lump on top of these. So the Nevi program is con continuing. Pilot Flying J is a major recipient of awards. And so at the very least, the Nevi sites have to get built. This is what my last update looked like. And this is McCammon, Idaho, um, Calumet, um, Oregon, and the ones that I just recently spotted since this update. And I haven't done an update since then, but I kind of wait for a whole bunch of numbers to kind of build up and then I do an update. This is all really driven by Pilot Flying J activity. It is um, up here in Oakland, Oregon. That one is now spotted under construction, and just don't take my word for it. Let's go to PlugShare. Um, Ed popped in and said, stopped by the Pilot Travel Center to check on status of the chargers. The area where the chargers will be installed is fenced off. The construction has not commenced yet. The staff mentioned that the construction should be starting soon. Not stopped. There's is ongoing. There's new construction going on. Um, let's see, there's another one since my last update. And these happen like almost every day. I get about three or four a week on average. Is this the one? Yeah, Good Hope. We just found out about this one. Obviously, it can't be going up. <clears throat> not stopped. I mean, th this does not look like a project that is on pause, on stop, has been on hiatus, anything. This is, this is an active, in-progress uh, project. And as I said, I was on vacation, and I've stopped by a flying J that's in a cluster. There's um, one flying J and then across the street is a pilot on an interstate exit and then one more exit down there's another pilot so there's a cluster of them and I've been watching these for a better part of a year and just this time I stopped by and was greeted with a large install. Look at this one pedestal and I'm not sure what this is. I think this might be the um, foundation for a canopy and it might stretch all the way down. I'm not really sure yet. It's still in the formative stage. Let's go to some more pictures. Um, here's a bigger picture. There's the Denny's. This is a great spot on Interstate 40. And uh, you can see they're turning dirt, man. This is not a pause project. Uh, there's a pedestal, there's a pedestal, there's a pedestal. So at least three pedestals. So that would be six stalls, likely one Chatamo handle, which is apparently a requirement in the state of North Carolina. I'm not really sure. Don't look pot. And I went in um, and um, I got myself a breakfast pizza because I was kind of hungry. And I knew the answer, but I asked the cashier, I said, Hey, what's the construction in the parking lot? And she said, Chargers. And so um, I don't know what to say. Not paused. Definitely not paused. And uh, the two sources that I can cite, I don't have an anonymous EVGO employee, but the Chief Executive Officer of EVgo recently, twice, on two different occasions, referenced the Pilot Flying J project as a part of the corporate strategy that is currently ongoing within the corporate projects that EVgo is working on. They're working on General Motors independent bills. They've got the $1.05 billion dollar um, guarantee loan from the federal government that just came through. They got the Pilot Flying J and they're doing things on their own. They also have other Extend partners that they're working with, but he specifically mentioned the Pilot Flying J build. The second source I have that I could reference, again, not anonymous, this is the Chief Executive Officer of Pilot Flying J, again, publicly uh, brought into a interview on CNBC Squawk Box, the conversation surrounding the project of installing EV chargers at Pilot Flying J. And this is just, you know, I think it was about a month ago that he did it. The EVgo CEO did it just like it last week. Um, 
So as far as I can know, the um, information provided to uh, the public from the chief executive officers indicate this is a active project. And the data supports that. I don't see any pause. Um, Watts Road is here. And when that opened, there was only eight locations open. Now we're 72, I think, 72 stations open and uh, 50, 57 spotted under construction, 23 of which have canopies. Um, so not paused. Um, and again, I uh, greatly appreciate Kyle Connor, all that he does. I admire the man uh, tremendously for the efforts that he does. I think he's um, a very driven person um, for the noble cause of EV adoption. And anything I could do to support him, uh, be more than happy to. Um, his his uh, efforts have been wildly successful and is always a pleasure to be able to consume the content from out of spec studios i just felt since there was a lot of blowback coming towards me that i should uh convey what um i see the pilot flying j project is um an active project and where it currently stands thanks for watching